Today we've got two game improvement irons from 2021, the Ping G425 and TaylorMade Sim 2 Max. Jackie is going to compare them and hit some shots. We'll see what TrackMan tells us. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we've got just a head-to-head -head iron comparison the Ping G425 and TaylorMade Sim 2 Max, both really good options in 2021. And now moving into 2022, I imagine they'll still be popular as golfers, um, you know, maybe get them at a cheaper price than the original new, uh, kind of, I guess, the new brand new set price. So Jackie, you have all of this year and now moving into 2022, been fitting golfers into these iron sets. Uh, they do fit, you know, those golfers that maybe need some help, maybe need some stability of the club head. So. What are you seeing from these two irons? Maybe try to give a brief comparison of them to start off with here. Well, yeah, I mean, like you said, game improvement, right? So mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that fit into these clubs just based off of that extra forgiveness. Uh, you know, we got graphite in the, you know, clubs today. So mm -hmm. there's stock graphite, so the Ulta CB and then the Vintus uh, Blue. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's their stock option for someone that really needs help with uh, a lighter weight shaft and helping launch the ball up, get some more distance. You know, it's very popular when you're talking about uh, trying to help in that category of, of forgiveness with the G425 and the Sim 2 Max. You know, last year you, you had the Sim Max that was really popular, which was the version mm -hmm. before in 2020, and then the G410 was really popular as well. So I think when you're talking about you know, going into like a used club fitting, these are going to be really good options in 2022 for sure. Just because, uh, like you said, they're going to be a little less yep. expensive than they were in 2021 and, you know, performed really well. Yeah, exactly. I know we saw, we see that really be a popular option for golfers is maybe going to the prior year uh, to get their iron yeah. set. And I know it's working really well because this technology, you know, from the, pri the previous year, uh, you know, it, it still competes really well with the brand, brand new stuff. So, um, I'm excited to see what you know Trackman tells us here because again both of these have been really popular for their golfers this year and now in 2022 I imagine they'll still be really good options. So um, Jackie you've told us a little bit about each. Uh, you ready to hit some shots? Let's go. All right so Jackie that's the G425. 30 degrees on that one. 28 and a half on the Sim 2 Max so a loft difference there. What would you expect then just based on loft alone that you know what kind of difference would that make before hitting? Yeah, uh, I think with the G425, you know, obviously the loft being a little bit more mm -hmm. is going to probably launch a little bit higher. Uh, but honestly, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of difference just because like the Sim Max stock shaft is a little bit lighter than the Alta CB. Okay. So it probably even so out maybe a little that bit. that could generate a little bit more yeah. launch and spin to yeah. it. Okay, interesting. All right, we'll see if that uh, proves true. So, four shots of G425. Uh, give me your thoughts just on that feel and sound quick. It was, it was fine. I yeah. mean, I, the thing that I noticed about the G425 is just like heavier, feels heavier, mm -hmm. like the okay. head. So Yeah, I know you've noticed that too. You, you've made that comment on drivers as well. Yeah. It just kind of feels a little bit different. So like, as I come through, I have a tendency to like, cut across it more than I okay. am like square. So I just feel like I'm leaving the face open, but okay. I, I think overall, I mean, the, I mean, there's a reason why the G425 is really good in performance is just because regardless yeah. of how you're attacking the ball, like, yeah, I mean, the, the dispersion looks pretty good. Yeah. You know, and then the distance is pretty consistent there. So, yep. all right. So here's what we're gonna do. You, get, you hit four there. Let's hit eight the Sim 2 Max, then we'll come back and hit four with the G425. We'll have eight with each to look at. That was hit hard, too. So that ball speed's pretty consistently over 100, it seems like. Yeah, definitely. Like, is, you know, it just in, feels in, uh, like first five shots or it just feels like I don't know like I can control it more yeah okay well, so I mean it's the ball speed's going way up back compared to G425 it seems like oh, 
There we go. That was straighter. Yeah. Okay. So we've got eight now up there with Sim 2 Max. Interesting. You got a little bit of a tendency or a trend emerging with Sim 2 Max. Um, I noticed that the ball speed jumped up quite a bit. You had a, some really high, I think you approached, you know, 105 with maybe one of a couple of those shots. Um, obviously, loft has something to do with that. Notice that that's funny because we talked about how the loft is about a degree and a half difference. Yeah. You're seeing that launch angle go down, seeing the spin go down as well. Um, and then I also want to touch height, so even lower height as well. So um, what are your thoughts? I mean, look at this data here. You can look at the, the dispersion map. What are you seeing? Yeah, I, it's honestly what I, for the most part, what I would mm -hmm. expect. Um, the sim just felt, and I think it, a lot of it has to do with the shaft, probably more than anything, but like the shaft just feels better than that mm -hmm. Alta CB slate. Okay. Because, I, I mean, the, the CB, they do that counterbalancing in there. Yeah. So there's so a little bit of a different feel to it than, you know, that, that vent is yeah, blue there. Yeah, just not what I'm, like, used to, I guess. So that's probably part of it. This feels a lot like what my gamer okay. uh, is. So I think that's, that, that is part of it. But I think um, I like the look of the G425 better. The Sim 2 Max little, you know, the Can top line's really thick. Okay. Whereas, like, with Ping, they really try to sleek the top line. and it, They did, yeah. They, it, it looks a little bit... What I think I've noticed, too, is that this... So I'm going to kind of look at the camera angle. So this, this line is kind of rounded up here. Yeah. So you only see, really, one kind of side of that top line. Yeah. It, the rest of it is still there, and it's still... I, I mean, it's, th it's a game of proven there, so it's thick to a degree, but uh, some of that is curved around the edge where you can't visually see it from mm -hmm. the top, whereas I think other clubs you can kind of see all of that top line. And so there's a little bit of that visual trick going on um, that, that Ping's able to play there. But, um, num I mean, yeah, I think, I think the numbers are pretty um, what we would expect uh, based on the loft difference, right? A degree and a half, you see mm -hmm. that, you know, that, it, that incremental jump in ball speed and in distance as well. So we got four more with G425 here. We'll hit those, and then we'll compare everything. Yeah, I just have this tendency to like not get through it. It seems like, like my your face to paths like yeah, I'm your on face to five. path is open quite a bit more. And again, that like I think to your point, it probably has something to do with the weighting of the club. Like even when I try to like do what I was doing with the Sim Two, mm -hmm. it was just it does the same thing. Yeah. So. so I think yeah, some of it is just balancing for sure. Yeah, so we can kind of bring up, there's the dispersion map, and, you know, I think there's something to, I, mean, I think this is, it's good that, you know, golfers see that the, you know, when you get a, you know, you have that face open a little bit, Yep. the result is short and right is kind of the miss. Mm -hmm. Now, I wouldn't say those are misses because you're only a few feet off of the center line, um, but, like, you can kind of see what happens when you have an open versus closed face. Closed face, it goes a little bit further as you're kind of even further de-lofting the club. And then if you have that open face, it actually will go shorter. That's kind of a, a club fitting one-on-one type thing. But other than that, I think I wanted to pull up that face-to-path uh, comparison here because you can kind of see it right here. Yeah. Um, 1.0 with the Sim 2 Max, 3.8 with the G425. So there was just this tendency, and you can see the face angle number two. The club path was pretty similar, right? Yeah. But the face angle was just... Uh, you know, you were more open with the G425 to the path anyway. Um, whereas the Sim 2 Max, it was kind of more of a straight pull going on. Yeah. Whereas with the G425, you're cutting across it, and then the face was a little bit open to that path, resulting in more of a kind of fade to it. But interesting that, and you think kind of that was kind of due to just the different weighting within the club the shaft or the head. Yeah, I think, you know, this is where fitting for a shaft is really important, right? Mm -hmm. Like. These are both the stock options. That's why we're testing them, because these are the stock yep. that come into the graphite for both heads. Um, but yeah, the the Ventus felt better. It felt lighter. It like easier for me to control. Whereas this was okay. the balance was just different and a little bit heavier. So that's yeah. you know why we're getting some of that result. I'm not able to like get through the ball as you yeah. Know, and I think there's something to you know because that that's the result for you. Um, yep. I think there's 
uh, maybe the player that does need more control, you know, maybe has your swing speed or roughly your swing speed, but does need more control. You're able to control the club really well. But someone that needs maybe a little bit more control could benefit from yeah. the kind of heavier, maybe the counterbalance shaft that Ping offers. Because um, I think, you know, the, the Sim 2 Max with the Ventus in there certainly would be, if you're looking for that swing speed or extra distance, uh, I think you're going to get more of that yeah. probably with that Ventus shaft. But it's not, that isn't to say the Alta CB slate is like heavy or anything like that, but it's a little bit on the heavier side and maybe uh, more control oriented yep. is I guess the way I would put it. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I noticed too was just the sound difference. It seemed like after hearing both clubs, Sim 2 Max was quite a bit louder when you know a good contact was made. And I think G425 was quite a bit softer in sound. I don't know if mm -hmm. you felt the same thing. Yeah, the Sim 2 is definitely a little bit louder for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, I also think part of it is I was just could be that I was making better contact too. So like that mm -hmm. the noise was a little yeah. bit more, but I, I think hey, overall you, your smash factor was a little higher with Sim 2 Max. So yeah, it could be that. And also that's a little bit loft or uh, related as well. But yeah, but yeah, the, the Sim 2 was definitely a little louder. G425 is a little softer for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I think this is a good test. You know, yeah. I think this is where, you know, definitely coming in and getting fit is really important just based off of club head and, yeah. and type of shaft uh, that we can really help, you know, narrow it down and see how we can exactly. you know, tighten that dispersion for you. And I think this is results. a good showcase too of why that shaft part matters because you had, you put pretty similar swings on all 16 of those shots, right? Mm -hmm. We saw the club path was really relatively similar, um, but that kind of minute difference of what may seem like a minute difference in that shaft was really opening your face a little bit more yeah. with the G425. So something small like that, as for any golfer, could make a pretty big difference. So uh, that's more reason to stop in and get fit, like Jackie said. Um, and again, both these clubs offer relatively similar benefits, right? More stability off miss hits, uh, you know, the launch and ball speed piece as well. But those differences like that are what's really going to hone in on your swing and what's best for your game. So. Jackie, thank you again for joining, hitting the shots and providing your insight. Um, again, really some good options here for the last couple of years now. Yeah, thanks for having me.